and members of Maine's congressional delegation are now speaking about regulating so-called assault rifles and high-capacity magazines. Tonight, News Channel 8 is hearing from a Parkland parent who has advocated for new safety laws here in Florida. Justin Shecker joins us live in Tampa with how this parent is reacting to the mass shooting in Maine. Justin. Keith and Jen, good evening to you both. Tony Montalto says stay with Parkland families aren't against an assault weapons ban, but they're not sure if that can be achieved. He told me he applauds Florida lawmakers for coming up with bipartisan solutions to make our community safer since he lost his daughter in one of the nation's deadliest school shootings. Sadly, we feel their pain. Every time there's another mass shooting in America, it immediately brings Tony Montalto back to Valentine's Day 2018. I remember that Parkland was the safest city in the state two days before the shooting at the high school that took my beautiful daughter Gina, her 13 classmates, and her three teachers. Um, it is true. It can happen anywhere. Gina's father is the president of Stand with Parkland. The idea is to bring people together to find solutions and to try and get people help before they resort to violence. The national organization formed after the massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. They say their goals are advocating for school safety reforms, improved mental health support, and responsible gun ownership. Montalto tells News Channel 8, Florida's extreme risk protection law is one positive change after Parkland. If you are deemed a threat to yourself or others, you should not have access to weapons. Florida's red flag law allows family members to ask a judge to temporarily restrict a person's access to guns. Under Maine's yellow flag law, only police can make that request, but first, they need a medical professional to deem that person a threat. We don't know why it didn't work here in Maine, but uh, we know that what we need to do is encourage people when they see troubling things to make sure it's reported and not just to social media companies. You have to report it to the local police to have it investigated. Motivated by honoring the loved ones they lost, Montalto says Stanwood Parkland families are on a mission to save lives. And it's a desire to extend the legacy of those that were taken from us by helping to ensure that no other families have to live the nightmare that we have. And Montalto says the state has confiscated thousands of firearms since Florida adopted its red flag law. He also told me limiting magazine capacity and requiring assault style weapons be stored at protected locations are two other practical public safety reforms. Live tonight in Tampa, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side. Thank you, Justin.